Congratulations. <laughs> That's the first thing I needed to say. She was one of the like hard worker students when she was in my class and then she was always working hard. I can see like her success. You know, this concept and the fact that she's traveled and captured each stage of this festival which is so huge back home because that's I come from India and it's so interesting to see it in New York. And I love the colors of the ones that do have colors. They're so very vibrant and I like the white pattern against the wall a lot, especially the fabrics of the ladies' clothing and also the big crowns. They make me happy. <laughs> um, the black and whites, I like that she keeps doing a lot of contrast between the shadows and the lights and she chooses a lot of statues with a lot of um, very sharp facial features and I enjoy it a lot. I really like the concept of the ten armed goddess and having a different object in each hand which symbolizes something else. I think it's very nice so because you can see uh, the topics in different different cultures. You can learn from other cultures. Um, I'm more into um, fashion styling um, but with styling, you get inspiration from everything, so just seeing the play of color and textures, it really helps to broaden my mind as far as how would I interpret that into fashion. In San Lee, I'm a, one of the faculty from graduate program. It's actually a beautiful photograph. I can see the like a beautiful culture and color and everything, so I think I can, this is interesting. We don't know so much about our own festivals because <laughs> Because we've never seen it with so much detail and with so much, I guess, passion. I think the subject is a fascinating one and it illuminates something that is not uh, common to most of them. I'm learning a little bit more about India, so it's interesting. And the colors, I love the colors. She's a very inspiring young designer, and I love what she's doing. I'm a, like, I didn't know she's a good photographer as well. And I've been to India myself like, a couple of years ago, and certain images kind of are very familiar to me and kind of bring certain kind of like personal moments, especially how she plays with the shadows or details. <laughs> My name is Kat McCord and I'm a graphic designer. It's great. I, I love it because there's a real sense of the history and the and documenting it. It's almost as if it hasn't been documented for ever. You know, that this is the first time certainly the first time I've ever learned about it. So I have a bunch of questions I want to ask Smirta next. So yeah, it's fantastic. Really interesting. My name is Simon Thackway and um, I have a branding and design business. It's funny, I'd, we'd worked with Samrita and I hadn't realised that she'd um, done all these, these things so I'd seen her graphic design work and uh, um, you know, seeing this is, is fascinating and I, I, and I also didn't realise that she had a book as well which is uh, um, great and great to have her explain it as well. You two, my dear, were once a dream. So everything that you see here was was um, fabricated in somebody's mind, spirit, their dreams, and they, you know, through their action, they made it a reality. So, faith and good works, keep keep it going, keep it moving. I think this is going to be the beginning of a valuable and fulfilling career for her, and it's off to a very auspicious start. She should basically be very ambitious and very confident about what she does because um, you know a lot of people don't see these sorts of things and she should not take for granted all the things that she sees in India and she should do more of this and um, push, keep on pushing and uh, I'm sure people will be very interested. Always keep working, <laughs> okay?